And let's do the spirit read. Let me grab cards, ruffle, shuffle them up, and see what we get today for the spirit read. What is the topic today? What is going to be our topic today? So the first thing we have out is the inner oracle. We had that yesterday. You are the channel, deja vu, self-fulfilling prophecies. Okay. So the energy we put out there is what we get back. And then energy attachments is the second part of it. Energy exchange, negative influences, self-sabotage. Okay, self-sabotage. So I think this is a bit of a continuation on this subject. Let's see what our other directories here, direct, <laughs> directories to <laughs> the Let's see what the other cards have to say here. How is it going to direct us? Where are we going with this? Okay, inner oracle, the root. Okay. The root. And the other part is clarifying. Clarifying about the energy attachments. Okay. What is the root? What are you rooted into? <clears throat> and we're going to get our other two cards here real quick. So this is about where is your emotional energies. Are you rooted in love or are you rooted in some other overflowing emotion? Okay. And um, again, this is clarifying when you have negative things um, coming up. This is the challenge feeling like one is always embattled. Okay. One is always feeling embattled, okay? So where is it, what are you rooted in? Are you rooted in love or are you rooted in an over-emotionality into something else, into a negative spin where you're always feeling like you're battling with something? If you're always feeling like you're battling with someone, okay, or something, then it's time to look and see what is the energy that's being put out. Where is this energy going? Okay, so you might want to change some of that focus, okay, to something more positive. Again, it's easy to get into the negative poor me cycle, okay, uh, and a lot of us have been there in the pity party, the poor me, why doesn't things go right for me, yada, 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 you know. And so they become self-fulfilling prophecies when we're rooted in that over-emotionality and, you know, putting things into a negative spin when we are attached to trying to find out what's wrong with something or instead of looking for the positive, rather than seeing one's blessings, one just looks at this problem, that problem, and keeps energizing the problematic things rather than energizing the things out of love and out of gratitude in, in that cycle. So again, where is your root? Where is your root? Okay, because you are the channel and you are making self-fulfilling prophecies with where you're putting out your emotionality. Okay. 
So again, check where your emotions are going. What are they rooted in? Because we become our own um, director of the life depending on where you're at. And look at your energy attachments. You want to clarify. You want to come into more clarity. Uh, where are you putting your energy out there? So what is, where are you putting it out there? Because where you're putting it out there is what you're going to get back. Where are you going to get it back from? Are you self-sabotaging? Are you going towards some negative influences? Time to clarify that. If you are feeling like you are, you know, just battling and battling and battling and getting nowhere, then you may be having your energy going out in an unproductive place, okay? Kind of, you know, like the Bible says, kicking against the goads. If you're gonna to continue to kick against the goads, you're gonna to continue to stub your toe and it's not going to feel good, okay? And <laughs> you're gonna have difficulties progressing. So again, you know, time to, to look at where you're at, where you're putting your energies. Are they beneficial or are they not? If it's not beneficial, then time to look and see if you can move it more towards gratitude and those types of things rather than where you have it at the moment, which is being a bit unproductive, okay? So thanks for tuning in, much love and light, and we'll see you online.